Okay, the next step we take in using WordPress as far as posts go, um, we just finished writing a post, so now we're going to go back and edit it. So let me show you how to do that. So um, from your dashboard, you click on All Posts, and then see how once you hover over the title of the post, a submenu comes up. Click on Edit. And you can change this to bold italics by just clicking on the B and the I, and you've got bold italics. You can change your categories. You can change your tags, you can get rid of one, you can add one, puppy training. When you're done, click on update. And then let's go back to all posts. I can show you something about the quick edit. You can change your title here, your slug here the date, um, the publish date. You can add a password to the post. You can change your configuration, post tags. You can disallow comments and disallow pings. You can change the status of the post from publish to pending to draft or vice versa. You can also make this post sticky so if you're publishing this website as a blog, if you click that box right there, um, that post will stay at the front or at the top of the blog. And then you would click on update. That's that for editing existing posts. Let's go to tags and categories on the fly. I've already shown you a little bit about this, but let's just go to add new. And then we're going to say how to install a WordPress plugin. type some stuff here. All right. If we want to add a new category on the fly, we just do this, click on add new cat category, and then type in the name of your category and then click on add new category. You can also put in any tags you want. Um, plugin, word, press. Uh, that's enough for now. So you just added those tags on the fly. You can publish this. And this is what it looks like. How to install a WordPress plugin. The date it was published by the author. Um, you can leave a comment. Here's the text or the content filed under the category plugin and tagged with plugin and WordPress. That's all there is to it.